In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Angular concepts at a very high level. I'm going to uh, tell you about the concepts and how much we're going to spend time on them. And I want to give you a mental picture before we continue so that you have a better picture uh, about different concepts, how they're related and how, what, what they do. So at the core of Angular, we have components, directives and templates. And we're going to spend 60% of the course talking about these concepts. I would consider these concepts to be uh, uh, in, in the core of Angular. Then you have pipes, services, and HTTP that transform data and give them to and they give them uh, to your components. And we're going to spend around 20% of the course talking about those. And you have the router that uh, decides which component to show in your application. I'm going to uh, spend 10% of the course talking about the router. And obviously you have uh, to test your application and manage the state. And that's uh, around 10%. We're going to spend another 10% talking about that. OK, so now that we have the concepts down, let's see how they're related. Um, having that relationship in, in mind will help you to kind of rem remember uh, what they do and uh, what they are. So at the core, everything starts with Directives. Directives add custom behaviors to your application, and they can be extended to uh, extend your application to whatever you need. Then you have templates. You put templates with directives together to create components, and these components uh, form the building block of your application. Components are essentially custom HTML tags that you can define with custom behavior and custom template. And you, uh, and you can create these components in isolation. And each component has isolated behavior, and they can work together to uh, build your application. And each component can have other components in them. And that's what the nesting comes in. You can have one component within other component, and so on. And also, you can have directives inside each component. And usually, if you think of the application as a tree of components, you'll have directives always at the leaf. You can't have really components at the, at the leaf of your tree. Now you have now we have components and directives, but you need to get data to your application. You need to manipulate data and give that uh, to your component. Uh, and that's where uh, services come into play. You have you can create one or more services, manipulate data, and these services are responsible for giving data to your, to your components. You also have pipes that transform data. You can put them in components, but they're mostly used in templates. For example, you can think of uh, the date as a, uh, we have a date pipe that uh, will grab a standard date and it will format it in the way that you want it to. So when your application grows, you'll have multiple components. And that's where the router comes in. The router is responsible for mapping different components to different routes. So you have a relationship like this. The router will decide which component to initialize or show uh, depending on where you're in the application. So now you have components, you have the router that decides uh, which component to show, but you need to get data from the server. And that's where the HTTP module com comes in. You can pass data from the HTTP module to services, and services are responsible for passing data to your uh, components in the form of uh, JSON. So this is, I would consider this as a, a good picture to have so that you know how these different components or these concepts are related to each other. And obviously, you need to test your application, uh, unit testing or end-to-end -end testing. And you also need to manage the state of the application. And we'll talk about those in more detail in the course. So that said, that was a very high-level introduction to Angular concepts. I hope it was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.